Yeah. As long as you got the rhythm and the groove, it don't matter what color you are. This is what white people think Post Malone is. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to episode nine of J. By vs. The Internet, and we got the host of What Is New York, one of the littest New York content creators, Ferris Will J. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> what's good, what's good, what's good, y'all? How y'all doing? Anything you want to say to the people before we start? Good morning, y'all. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Drake said that Megan Thee Stallion lied about getting shot. My take with that was it was a double entendre, but those are still very dangerous. So even if he didn't directly make a shot at her, I still, that's kind of like touchy, you know, someone as big as him. So Exactly. Double entendre. Yeah. Don't ask me how. Shout out Jay-Z. But nah, <laughs> my whole thing is like this. Megan Thee Stallion said, yo, stop using my, my shooting for clout, you bitch ass blanks. <laughs> and... I feel her on that, but I don't think Drake was using that for clout. I just thought he thought it was a clever bar, so he just like, yo, what is it? Someone as his caliber doesn't need clout. Like he's clout. Like yeah. people do a song, people do a song with him for the clout. So yeah. it's like he shouldn't have said anything. It's, it's unnecessary. It's like LeBron yeah. lying. <laughs> that would have yeah, been a good. <laughs> but you know, um, LeBron's an actual real liar. Yeah. So I seen like a, a thread. He's like that friend that I think that's just like, yeah, I was there, yo. It's, it's crazy. Like, yeah, that was fire. Like he was speaking about how he, he was listening to Takeover when he was in Miami, but he got the year off. So the year that he came to Miami, he was speaking about listening to them. But but that year they never released music. They dropped music the year after. So that spiraled into a thread of lies. I'm not the biggest sports fan, but sports fans made a point. They said he was talking about the 2010-11 season. See, hey, that's what I'm talking yeah. about. Like when people, I, I think LeBron do be exaggerating on a lot of stuff, but that's what I'm saying. It was just a year off. You can get confused. Cause I remember around that time. Cause I was trying to think to myself like, yo, was it 2010? Was it 11? Like I didn't know when they came out. So that wasn't that bad of a lie, but that shows that LeBron has a, a list of lies that everybody ties into that. It's just uh, karma at this point. Like my, <laughs> like my favorite one that I seen him was like, let's just say I made up a quote like, a laptop is equivalent to life of the butterfly of the sea. And LeBron be like, yeah, that's one of my favorite quotes. That's my favorite saying. LeBron lied about the Godfather, watching the Godfather. And it, like every time you see LeBron reading the book, he's always on the first page. So, <laughs> so yeah. I don't know what's going on, LeBron. <laughs> yeah, I, I seen that too. They asked him how the book was and he was just like, it was a good book. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get into what is New York? You are the host of that. So what is New York? Cause I, you know, they say New Yorkers don't take anything serious. Let's get into some clips. Pineapple on the head. I don't get it. SpongeBob. <laughs> Speaking of hitting it, <laughs> this is what I've been waiting for. Run fast, eat ass. That's a good mantra to have. <laughs> I, I live for statements like that. <laughs> they were using everything to keep everybody, you know, moving. Yeah, that's the crowd going. Motivation. It, is, it, it was a, a very long marathon, any type of motivation people could get if you can finish a marathon you deserve mad so <laughs> i think that was the motivation baby <laughs> i can't even see that read that to me ben you do, yeah. Nah, we definitely don't. They run us. <laughs> I mean, I mean, per person, there's about a thousand rats. So I, to say that the rats Listen. don't run New York, there's like literally a civilization. Listen, every time I see a rat, I see everybody go the other way. So, <laughs> and the rats are smart. You know, rats are mad smart. People don't realize they that are? they're mad smart. You know, cockroaches are smart too. Cockroaches actually can survive if the planet blew up. They said, what? So they can survive a nuclear attack. I got weird facts since like a kid. You know those books. <laughs> That had like the strange facts or the Guinness World Record books. I would read those as a kid. So I have facts like Ask Jeeves. You remember Ask Jeeves? Yeah. That's another thing I was about to speak about. A lot of people don't know about Ask Jeeves. So the baby is officially washed up now. The baby has been selling buy one, get half off tickets like this is Costco's. I feel bad for the baby, you know what I'm saying? But you did it to yourself, brother. I was actually a real big fan of the baby. What sucked was that no one on his team was warning him because I saw red flags of him saying certain things. Mm -hmm. You can't even call it cancel culture to an extent because if you're offending someone, that's not really canceling something as opposed to like, let's just say you had an opinion of the way someone dresses or certain things. But when you talk about a certain demographic of people or a culture of certain type of things, they're going to cancel you if you say something that's offensive to people. They're so, going to they're gonna get you out the paint. And that's what a lot of people did. Like, he tried to say that he was blackballed and all that. Nobody blackballed you. Now, the one thing, one thing I didn't like, though, was that people are very hypocritical with certain things. Of Dua course. Lipa canceled him. But she still had a song with Rest in Peace, Pop Smoke. I feel like certain people pick and choose when they putting the, the vision of someone that they're speaking about. A hundred percent. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's all forging now. <laughs> hey, I got all type of fans and I show, like I tell people, as long as you're respectful, mm. 
I show love back in public, mm. online. You know who wasn't showing love? Little Wayne. Little Wayne does not like Aaron Rodgers at all. He felt like they should have been got rid of um, Aaron Rodgers. So you don't really follow sports like that. But Aaron Rodgers is just a grumpy old man that's a hippie that did Ashkawa or whatever. How, how you say Ashkawa? Ashkawa. Ashkawa. You're wrong. You know that drug I'm talking about. It's like a, 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 a psychedelic. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah he right, he right. He's just one of those guys. He's a hippie and he, he hates life now. I don't get it. <laughs> but Little Wayne wants to get him out the paint. I agree, bro. You should have been got rid of 12 before this season because – Aaron Rodgers does not want to be there. He's grumpy. He hates Green Bay Packers. I know of Aaron Rodgers. He's definitely one of the goats like up there, like with Brett Favre and all of them. Brett Favre's a thief, but go ahead. Okay. <laughs> I got to make that point. I know Wayne's a big sports fan. Yeah. And him, Drake, all of these artists, they, they bet on stake and all of those other companies. So I feel like he probably had a lot of money on the line to say something like that, too. <laughs> he to had like a parlay going. Like he yeah. lost like at least a, a half a ticket, at least, <laughs> to say something like that. To be like, nah, get him out of here. Surprisingly, Kirk Cousins has been hitting people's parlays. He's been doing a thing. Like They're calling him Kirk Cobain's. Kirk Chains, actually, because he was rocking. Let's play the clip, man. Oh, wow. Put that shit on. <laughs> Oh, they're playing ABs. <laughs> Put that shit on. <laughs> Flex stuff. I like that. See, I ain't gonna lie. Kirk Cousins has gave us some of the greatest memes to men to this day. I mean, you like that. You like that. And the multiple. Oh, But this one, it's going to the Smithsonian. I don't even know if that's how you say it right, but it's going. <laughs> I mean, he he's hitting the moves. Yeah. As long as you got the rhythm and the groove, yeah. it don't matter what color you are. Yeah. This is what white people think Post Malone is. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, my boy a movie. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And they on a what a plane? Yeah, he's yeah, on a plane. Yeah, yeah, Listen, yeah. that's how you're supposed to be on a plane. Fuck you, Russell Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I ain't gonna lie. I I'm sorry, mom. But if this was me, you would have got blitzed at that age. <laughs> so if you don't know what's going on, the parents called out their kids to a one-on-one -on -one match. And this is what we call maybe nutcrackers, some Oklahoma. The parents were violating their kids, as they should. This builds character. I'm all against bullying and certain things and like, you know, just talking down on people. But like some of them parents was like picking up their kids and slamming them down like WWE. Like they were upset. I'm for bullying. Bring it back. <laughs> <laughs> if, it's, if you need some character built, man, <laughs> it's, it's not the same no more, man. You gotta toughen it up, man. I'm, I'm like the old generation, you know what I'm saying? I'm like a baby boomer. This is more your field, man. So on um, What Is New York, you guys posted several pictures of the most wildest clips for the Citizen app. Person trapped in a washing machine. That sounds like a porno. <laughs> Food on stove. Food on fire on stove, maybe. Maybe he's tired of his wife's cooking. Yeah. <laughs> Vicious bumblebees in front of buildings. So you know what's funny? The NYPD actually hired a beekeeper. Someone had like a food cart and like a swarm of bees just happened to pick that area. And since bees are like, like semi-endangered, they actually have a NYPD beekeeper that comes in transports the bees back upstate. That's crazy. A wise man once said, Wu Tang Clan ain't nothing to fuck with. <laughs> Stay away from the killer bees, man. <laughs> Rats attacking people. See, I told you they run the city. Was it people or 6 9 uh, I had to make that joke. I don't know. Right, these, I these, rats are, these rats, I don't know if you've seen, these rats are getting bigger. There's a rat from South America that's actually a pet. A guinea pig? Yeah, it's almost like a <laughs> guinea pig. Yeah. And they got into the like a banana boat and came to New York oh. and started mating Yo. with the New York City rats, a gardener in Marcy Projects. Mm. He caught one with a pitchfork. And you would have thought he had like a kitten, bro. Listen, I'm fine with rats. You know why? Because you know what? I hate those Japanese butterfly moths them shits we need to like exterminate them now immediately the we lantern put, flies yeah we're supposed to unalive them i know we're supposed to do that but like we we're not doing a good enough job those shits will climb on you have sex on you <laughs> that's fucked up but yo listen man i want to thank you for coming on the show ferris will j the host of what is new york and Ready? listen go to the game day.com go to them get the merch j body versus internet mugs and we got hoodies too you know what i'm saying and for your sports betting tips if you want to see more of this show just like and subscribe we out holla <laughs>